Once you have written your JSX script, you need to convert it back to a JS file, normal JS file. So the reason why we have to do that is because this file that you see over here is JSX transformer. Now this is pretty heavy file and it's advised that whenever you have written your JSX code, you better convert it to a JS file, normal JS file. So what exactly that JS file will look like? For instance, as you can see over here, we have a simple JSX file and if I just take this whole thing from here and take you to this URL, this is a live JSX editor and you can find it on facebook.github.io slash react slash jsxcompiler.html. Now over here, if I put the JSX code that I just now copied, you'll see the JS version of it on the right hand side. So here you'll notice the difference. Basically all the HTML elements that we have created over here in our JSX file will be recreated as react.create element and since it's quite easy to write HTML code we make use of the JSX file but then when we have to move it to the production we can go ahead by converting it to a JS file. So if I just copy this code from here and then in our file I put it over here save it and then under displaying data.html file you'll notice that I earlier made this type as text slash JSX now that file is not JSX anymore so what I'll do is I'll remove this type from here and as I don't need the transformer as well now so I'll comment that what I mean and you can see that we are making use of the CDN URL over here this is the production URL for version 12.2 0 0.12.2 and you can get the production URL from this link so now if I run this one in browser earlier when I was running it with JSX the page was looking like this now let's see is there any difference when I run it now so the result still remains the same and you can see that over here if I show you the view source we are just making use of the displaying data and the CDN URL so that way you can convert your JSX file to normal JS now apart from going online to this page you can also do it on your system and the way you're supposed to do that is you have to have npm installed so let's check whether I have that or not so I just typed npm to find out whether npm is installed on my system or not and you can see that it's installed node package manager now in order to get the pre-compiled JSX done you can simply run npm then you have to type install and then minus g react hyphen tools press enter over here once this is installed we can go ahead and transform our JSX extension files so once you have installed the JSX precompiler all you need to do is go to your directory where you have the folder which is having the JSX files and then all you need to do is write this line JSX with double hyphen symbol watch then a space JS in this case is the directory where I have kept all the JSX files and then you create a build version so a build directory which will have all the pre-compiled JS files over here you can see the name of those files which this pre-compiler is taking and then generating the JS version of the JSX file and here you can see it in action so this one was the original JS file that we had and over here you can see the compiled version of it similarly there are others as well if I show you over here hello world.js in the build version and if I show you hello world.js as JSX so you can see the difference and all you need to do after that is refer these files obviously the file names have not changed so all you need to do in your HTML or whatever page you are making use of these scripts just remove the JSX type as we did over here and make sure that you remove the JSX transformer to JS file 
and that is all you need to do in order to run your react files on production server